Hello everybody, SSA here aka Super Sunrise, coach of the Groningen Gold Dogs, bringing you week 13 of the FBL, the Frontier Battle League Season 2, as we take on the Perd Persians, who has been led by Coach Dusk. I think that was his name, right? Dusk, yes. Yes, <laughs> I had a massive brain fart there, but last week we had a massive brain freeze as well, because we didn't do last, we didn't do well last week. So, we still haven't reached the playoffs officially. We can still make it. We have high chance of reaching the playoffs, the top 8, as I will turn off my mobile phone just a moment. But, we are bringing the following months to the match this week in the FPL Season 2 match week 13, the Perth Persians. We're bringing Nexus the Asylmoral, holding the Citrus Berry with huge power, Waterfall, Aqua Jet, Play Rough, and Ice Punch. And I make a big mistake here, okay. Um, um, waterfall should be done for Belly Drum. That was it. <laughs> Glad I noticed that beforehand, but Citrus Berry, huge power, Belly Drum, Aqua Jet, Play Rough, and Ice Punch. We're bringing Ice Punch this week because type coverage could help us out in the end. Then we have Judge the Dragon holding the Rocky Helmet, Rough Skin with Glare, Dragon Tail. We are bringing Fire Punch also for the um, type coverage here. And Stealth Rock, same moveset almost. Uh, the only thing that we don't have right now is Earthquake because I don't think Earthquake will help us out in the end. And Fire Punch will. Then we have Almighty Entei with a Choice Band, Pressure with Sacred Fire, Flare Bliss, Extreme Speed and Stone Edge. Then we have Roserade, Smell this Roserade is back in action with the Life Orb, Natural Cure, Sludge Bomb, Spikes, Leaf Storm and Dazzle Gleam. I was considering Toxic Spikes, but he has a lot of mons that, you know, could get rid of the Toxic Spikes with Poison type mons. So I thought Spikes in this case which is pretty much more useful for us. Then we have Rebel the God of War, holding the God of War right so it can Mega Evolve. Uh, trace ability, pixelate when Mega Evolve with Hyper Voice, Psy Shock, Focus Bliss and Thunderbolt. Yes, we're also bringing Thunderbolt for typing co uh, coverage. We're, we're, we're trying out more things with the typing coverage. Uh, so Ice Punch on Nexus, Fire Punch on Judge and Thunderbolt on Bell. Because why the hell not? And last but not least, speaking of Thunderbolt, we have Area 51 our Magnus Zone. This time holding the Choice Specs and Sturdy. We're bringing Sturdy. Uh, for the first time in here because I can take any risk at the moment and if Aria 51 can do some damage I rather it wants to do some damage instead of you know one hit KOing in by an opponent again uh, moveset is like always full switch flash can a thunderbolt and hidden power fire now these are the mods that I'm bringing this week as I said before a bit risky uh, we have roast right here so it gives us uh, a poison type, but it also gives us, you know, a typing that could easily be knocked back by an earthquake or something like that. Um, Judge is actually one of the best free agents I've pulled this year, this season. Um, it's an amazing mod. Radagon is an amazing mod, and I'm gonna bring it again. Uh, Nexus did an amazing job last week, so hopefully it can do again this week. Uh, Rose Raid is back, as I said before. Aria 51, our MVP for this season, is here as well. Okay, that was a mouthful. <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah, I I'm, I'm, I'm just double checking everything, so we're gonna go ahead uh, validate. Oh, you? Yes. Again, the Citrus Bear, Huge Power, Belly Drum, Aqua Jet, Player of Ice Punch, yes. IVs are everything good. Yes. 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 Okay. So what I'm going to do now is I'm gonna wait until Dusk is ready for battle. <sighs> and I, of course, will see you guys if that happened right away. But until then, see you soon. And we're here. Alright, it took a day for us to do this battle because something uh, come, came up with it. But we're still here now. We're still going to do our battle because I really don't want to get another forfeit win this season. We're here. We're here. Bird Persians, week 13 of the FBL, the Frontier Battle League. I'm going to challenge him and we're going to hopefully do some good things here. But... I will, I will not say anything, I will say it after the match. But we're gonna start and challenge Farty66, aka Dusk, aka Coach of the Perth Persians in this week 
match of the FBL, the Frontier Battle League. It, it's it's just noon here. Um, it's a little bit earlier than yesterday when I record, but hopefully we can actually do some work today. So I sent him the invitation, and um, yeah, hopefully he will respond soon. He said it here, so um, I'm waiting. <laughs> Recording intro at the moment. Okay, I'll. I, I, I'm here. <laughs> All right. Um, yeah, if you're hyped for this week, don't forget to leave a like, comment, share this video with others. Slash the subscribe button down below. Um, it's a bit, it, it feels a bit weird. We did our um, team preview yesterday, and we do our battle now. Yeah, it is what it is. It is what it is. I will probably put a timestamp in the description below uh, for people if they want to watch the match. Um, but yeah, I think I'm just gonna go ahead and pause the game. And um, yeah, if 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 they are ready, we're gonna do it. <laughs> oh, well then, <laughs> here we are. All right, so. Here we are! I don't have to pause anything, that's great. So he's bringing the Cresselia, Phenosaur, Fictini, Minetri, Gramble and Barbarical. His Phenosaur, obviously, the Mega. And we of course bring our Azumarill, Dragon, Entei, Roserade, Gardevoir and Magnezone. Alright, so I'm gonna say good luck, have fun. And after that we're going to ignore spectators and ignore players. Alright, so... What would be the worst thing to happen? I could start out with Dradigan again, try to pit up the Stealth Rocks, but at the same time, Stealth Rocks won't do much. Well, against the Victini, it will, because Victini is fire type. Um, I can glare somebody and paralyze it. It would be great if we could paralyze the Victini, though. Hmm, I'm going to go ahead and go into my Judge either way. So there's the Manetric. Okay, so there's the Manetric. Um, obviously faster. Or was it the Mega Manetric? I forgot, it's been a day. But um, I know we can glare the Manetric. Because what could Manetric do to us? Okay, let me, let me... Okay, Dragon, touching it, touching it will kill you against Manetric. Let's say it's a special attacker. Could have hidden power eyes or something else. I'm gonna go ahead and put up the stealth rocks either way. So he's gonna fold switch. Okay, so that's a free, free stealth rocks. Okay, and that didn't do much because we are special defensive. So that's good. So that's the Grand Bull. So the Stealth Rocks are now up. Okay. So the Grand Bull is of course a problem because of the Fairy Typing and we are not faster. So I think safe thing to do is go into Smell This. I think that's the safest thing to do. I can also go into Nexus. But I don't want to go into Nexus yet and hit a... Uh, get some, you know... Damn it. Um, I think smell this is the best way. So that's play rough. That don't that won't do much. And we are fast. So I can go for a sludge bomb. Because the only one that can actually take a sludge bomb are the Phenosaur and the Barbarical. Um, and I think a sludge bomb in this case is the better option. So we're gonna go ahead and sludge bomb. We're not going to go take the risk here. <laughs> and we're gonna do this. We're gonna sludge bomb and maybe we can get a poison off on somebody except for the, of course, the Phenosaur. <laughs> because Phenosaur is poison as well. Uh, that's the reason why I didn't bring toxic spikes but regular spikes. So he's gonna switch out into the Phenosaur. Uh, sludge bomb will do normal. And I think with that we can just go ahead and sludge bomb again because 
that will take care of the Phenosaur. We are live opt, of course. So that's one kill for Rose Raid. Rose Raid is back. Smell this is back. And he immediately gets a kill. So that's the Fictini. Now this is a problem. Fictini is a problem. He's a fast son of a bitch. Now I can go into Judge. I can also go into All Might, of course. But I don't really want to do that. I can sack off Rose Raid here. I mean, going into Area 51 is not an option. Going into Nexus, however, I think Nexus is actually and Nexus can take a hit unless he wants to set up, of course. I mean, staying in with Rose Raid. That was my phone. I should probably turn off my phone every time. <laughs> uh, I think it's Choice Scarf. But let's say it's, it, let's say it's Choice Bandit. Um, I mean, how much do we have? Judge has 20, 82 percent. I think dr Judge is the better option. I'm going to go into Judge Dragon. Um, I don't want to sack off my Rose Raid just yet because the Barbaracle and the Grand Bull are still out there. So we're gonna hard switch, hard switch. We're gonna switch back into Drudagon here. But the uh, Phenosaur is gone. So there's the Drudagon. So send headbot. That's a crit. But the rough skin will do enough with the Rocky Helmet. <sighs> okay. I'm just gonna go ahead and click glare. We don't have anything to lose right now. He's actually gonna switch out. We get the paralysis on the Gramble. That is fine. Uh, Dragon Tail will do nothing. Um, shall I switch out with my Dragon to save the Rocky Helmet? I mean, the Intimidate this drop is. Uh, let's just hope he paralyzed. I'm gonna go ahead and go for the Fire Punch here. Yeah, that won't do much. He does get the paralyzation off. Okay, so. I can't Dragon Tail because of the fairy typing. Um, I do can go back into smell this though. Oh, we can get another paralyzation. There's the earthquake. Ah, we risk that. Okay, so that's that was a bad move on my part. That was a bad move on my part. <laughs> okay. Okay. That was actually a very bad move on my part because now we lost our sludge bomb against this grand bull. I'm gonna go into Nexus. Yes, Earthquake play rough. I'm gonna go ahead and Belly Drum. <sighs> He's actually gonna Thunder Wave me. Okay. Now what does more? Okay. Azumarill, Belly Drum. Okay, we have Attack is 4 now. Against a Grand Bull. We don't have knockoff, we have Ice Punch, but against a Grand Bull Wolves. Let's say it's defensive. I think a player off is a guarantee 1 KO. We need to go for the player off here. Um, he doesn't have the. I think a player off, yeah, is the safe bet. And we are paralyzed, and he gets the player off off. Oh my god, are you kidding me? Come on, Nexus! Come on! There we go! That's my Nexus! That's Azumarill! But now, we're in the pickle. We are paralyzed. We already used up our Dreldium. I should have not let Rose Ray die like that. I should have stayed in, let Dragon die. <laughs> okay, that wasn't bad fault on my part. Not, that's not a bad fault. We can still secure this. We can still make something out of this. I should put my laptop like this. It's a bit better. <laughs> We only l you l lost one mod, which is the Rose Raid, which I could have saved. I don't know what I... I had a brain for there. <laughs> Nothing more. Uh, the Fictini, however, is still out there. 
but will get some damage to the stealth rocks. But by losing Rose Raid, we still secure that Dragon is there. So it is what it is. It is what it is. We are paralyzed, but I think an Aqua Jet still gets priority then, even though with the paralyzed. I never tested it out to be honest. I th think if you're paralyzed, but you have a it is what it is. It is what it is. I, I should not let uh, Rose Raid the dead of Rose Raid lets me down. I mean, Barbarical is still there. Cresselia. Cresselia is so annoying. Cresselia is one of the mons that can stall out so much. Speaking of Cresselia. <laughs> Alright, I should Aqua Jet. I don't know if we are. We are. And Saisho. <gasps> I should Aqua Jet again. I should Aqua Jet again, and we should not get paralyzed right now. We should not get paralyzed right now. <sighs> Nexus, come on, baby. Come on, baby. Do it for mommy. Do it for daddy. He can't switch out. He can't switch out. Because a Manetric, a Barbarical, or a Fictini, they will die if the Aqua Jet hit them. Come on! Come on! You can do it, Nexus! You can do it! Nexus is putting in the work! Knock on wood! Come on! Come on! He can't switch out! He has to hope for paralyzation! Ah, oh, that's... So bad! So bad! Okay! 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 Okay. Um, I think an extreme speed. Yeah, an extreme speed will kill off the Cresselia from this range. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do it. Because I don't want to lock myself into Flare Blitz. So that's the Barbarical. Okay. So extreme speed won't do much. Um, Barbarical is probably gonna use. Shell smash, right? Alright, time to go into judge then. Okay, this is risky. Okay. I have to dragon tail then. Okay, that's the earthquake. Oh, this Barbarical can actually... Okay. okay, 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 okay. We are choice specs with Sturdy. This is why I brought Sturdy. Okay. Magnezone. Choice specs against the Barbarical. A Thunderbolt will do much. Um, go into Area 51. We are Sturdy. A Thunderbolt should do enough. We're Sturdy. By Barbarical. That is the reason why I brought Sturdy on Magnezone. RA51, you did it again. <sighs> if I had still Rose Raid, this would have been a lot better. But now, the question is, he will go into my network. I need to check this out, because... Why didn't it go Mega? Okay, so that's the Manetric. This feels so bad. I know it's my move. I know it's my move, but I want to check this out. I want to check this out. I have to actually switch out here. We could still lose this. We could still lose this. I'm playing uh, a lot risky. My god. I have to switch out though. If only Nexus 
didn't get paralyzed there. <sighs> Come on, load. Because he was he was mega he had a mega Venusaur, right? It it, it doesn't want to load. I can do two things. No, because if he was mega, he had to mega the first turn. So he should not be mega. I have to go into Bell. I have to go into Bell. There we go! Lightning Rod! And Hyper Force it is! I have to go into Bell! Now we aren't, but... Hype Voice does the job there. Because I was afraid he was going for another move, predicting my switch into God of War here. Okay, there's the Fictini. Mm. We're not faster. But. Zen Headbutt will kill us? Question mark? Yeah. But then I can use extreme speed with All Might to knock both of those mons down. So I have to go for Thunderbolt here. Oh! We don't? Alright, so then I can just ignore, ignore spectators. Yeah, I think I can just Thunderbolt it again. And that's GG! Nice game okay so we won we won with 3-0 okay so with this win we made it to playoffs but the thing I wanted to say was um, even if we lost because of a result in another match which I'm not gonna spoil which match because then I will spoil for people who want to watch those matches but even if we lost today, we would have been secured of playoffs. But winning this match, which let me upload and share replay right away, because otherwise I will forget it, and that's uh, stupid of me. <sighs> this match was... Yeah, it was kind of tense in the beginning, but I made sure we not let this slip out of our hands. Um, I could have probably saved Rose Raid in this match. He's saying sorry for the para. It's okay. I have had so many luck this season. Uh, for instance, against the match against Lekna K. I had so much luck that I should not complain if paralyzing, paralyzing Hex came on to me. So I'm not going to complain about that. Uh, God of War put in a lot of work. And I don't know why I don't go with my guts. My guts were telling me... Just go into Gardevoir under the Manetric. It's the safest bet. If he goes for Thunderbolt, you're safe. But I don't know why. I sometimes question myself too much. But now we made it to the playoffs. We have still have two matches to go. Uh, two matches to go against uh, Ben from the Austin Subats. And we have to face against Tommy of the Houston Tynamos. So those two last matches are going to be fun as heck because... We don't have anything to lose, but I still want to, you know, secure wins before we're going to roll into the playoffs. We're at the top eight. I don't know. I'm so happy this season went. Uh, let me say, uh, haha, no problem. I had many luck this season, so I'm not the one complaining. <laughs> There we go. <laughs> but, um, yeah! Whew! I think I, I have to say, Dradigan, again, put in a lot of work. Um, that glare was amazing. And, um, it didn't help us out very much, but just the feeling of glaring somebody with Dradigan is so good. 
But yeah, I think that concludes week 13 of the FBL Frontier match. We won with 3-0. And yeah, I think it's safe to say if you do enjoy this match, leave a like, comment, share this video with others, slash the subscribe button down below if you're hyped for more matches in the FBL because there are going to be more matches after the two. Well, maybe there's going to be only one match after the two. You never know how playoffs will work out. But um, yeah, I want to thank you guys so much for watching. And um, I will see you guys in the next battle. So um, yeah, thank you so much for watching again and see you next time.